Hi, this is Shankadeep and today we are going to discuss a problem for RMO 2009. So this is not really a RMO level problem, so it could be, to, nowadays it could be an AMC problem as well. And this is kind of special for me because it's one of the first RMO problems I ever solved when I was in school. The problem says, there is a book which has page numbers from 1 to 100. Some pages are torn off. The sum of the remaining numbers is 4949. How many pages were torn off? This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. We start by making uh, some observations. So the pages are numbered like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, 99, 100. In general, the numbers on a removed page are 2x minus one, comma, 2x, okay? Suppose, we are removing n numbers, uh, n pages, which are 2x1 minus 1, 2x1, 2x2 minus 1, 2x2, like that, till 2xn minus 1, 2xn. The sum of the numbers removed is therefore uh, 4x1 minus 1 plus 4x2 minus 2, uh, 4x2 minus 1 plus dot dot 4xn minus 1 which is actually 4 times the sum of the x x size minus n. Now we can assume an ordering between these x size. So x1 is clearly greater than or equal to 1 because the, that's the first page, right? So 2 into 1 minus 1 is 1. So we can assume the ordering x1 less than x2 less than x3 dot 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 less than xn. Now if x1 is greater than or equal to 1, then x2 is greater than or equal to 2, x3 is greater than or equal to 3. In general, xi is greater than or equal to i. Therefore, uh, let's call this some s Therefore, S is greater than or equal to N into N plus 1 by 2. It's a sum of the numbers from 1 to N. Okay. Therefore, uh, the numbers, the sum of the numbers that have been removed is 4 times S minus N. Now, the before removing the pages, the total was 5050 five, because that's the sum from 1 to 100. So the number, uh, the total sum that has been removed is 5050 five, minus 4949. Four, Therefore, 4s minus n is 5050 five, minus 4949, four, which is 101. Now 4s, uh, we know that 4s is greater than or equal to 2n into n plus 1. Therefore, 101 is greater than or equal to 2 n plus 1 into n minus n uh, which is 2n square plus n now we are going to solve this inequality so this can be written as 2n square plus n minus 101 less than or equal to 0 and uh, that means if we find the roots of the equation 2n square plus n minus 101 equal to 0 then the valid solutions I mean the permissible values of n actually have to lie between the two roots of this equation so that's standard that standard uh, inequality theory so uh, let's use the quadratic formula here that gives uh, minus 1 plus minus root 1 
plus 808 by 4 that's minus 1 plus minus root 809 by 9, 4 now root 809 is actually between 28 and 29 it's 28 point something that's easy to see so the permissible values of n are more or less between minus 1 plus minus say 28 by 4 something like that Uh, if we uh, one needs to be a bit more rigorous than this actually let's take it 29 okay one but uh, we will be a bit lax here but later you will see why we are allowed to be lax in this case we just need a very rough estimate so uh, one side is obviously negative that which is minus one minus something by four that's negative we're not worried about that because uh, we want positive values of uh, positive values of uh, n so we'll just take the root 29 minus one by four that is seven okay so we don't need to look beyond seven we need to look for n from 1 to 7 that's all and there is more actually so uh, note that n we have 4s minus n is 101 so 4s minus 104 plus 3 is equal to n okay and this part is a multiple of 4 so n when divided by 4 leaves multiple 3 so the only possible values of n are actually 3 and 7 okay so n has to be one of these two now you see why I was lax about this thing here the exact value of the square root and was able to get away with it because n has more conditions than this so so combining the residue thing and the rough estimate we are able to pinpoint the values of n okay anyway so let's see what we can do with both of them can n be equal to 7 i don't think so because uh I think 2 into 7 square so 7 square is 49 and what is 2 into 7 square that's 98 and that plus 7 exceeds 101 so 7 is not permitted okay so actually the only permitted value is 3 now we have to check we have to find uh, something for it before which it works now we finally need to check if this really has a solution we already know that if there is a solution n has to be equal to 3 so if n equal to 3 we have 4 into x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to uh, 101 plus 3 which is 104 and if we divide that by 4 what we get x1 plus x2 plus x3 26 so we need to find x the values of x1 x2 and x3 that satisfy this and I think it's a, it would be a good idea to find x1 x2 and x3 which have quite far apart so that the numbers do not uh, overlap okay so let's take x1 equal to 1 then x2 equal to say 7 and x3 has to be 26 minus 8 which is 18 So what are the numbers on the uh, pages that have been removed? They are 1, 2, 
13, 14, and 17, 36. Okay. So there is indeed a solution. There are many solutions, in fact, and this is one of them. Uh, just a point. If you get a problem like this, always finish it. Okay. Don't end at n equal to 3. Always check whether or not there is a solution because sometimes you get something, but there, later on in the problem there is some contradiction, so there is no solution. Okay. Always be careful in your exams. See ya. Bye bye. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.